we now learn how to find the median value of a discrete random variable. And we're going to do so using an example. We can see here that we're given the probability distribution table of some discrete random variable, which we're calling capital X. And the first thing we'll need to do in order to find the median is to add a row to this table in which we show the cumulative probability. We've already seen how to do that, but let's just quickly remind ourselves. I'll start by adding some columns to this table. Done. And now we're looking for the cumulative probability, that's probability that capital X be less than or equal to X, where the lowercase x corresponds to all these values that we see at the top of the table. Now the first entry, the probability that X be less than or equal to 1, will simply be equal to the probability that X be equal to 1, so that would be 0.2. For the next value, the probability that x be less than or equal to 2, well, that will equal to the probability that x equals to 1 plus the probability that it equals to 2. In other words, it's 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1. And that, of course, is 0 0.3. Now, for the next value, the probability that x be less than or equal to 3, we need to add all the probabilities up to the probability that x equal to 3, in other words, that's 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1. And a quicker way of doing that is simply to take the previous cumulative probability, so that would be 0 0.3, and to add to that the next probability, 0 0.1. So 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 would be 0 0.4. We carry on this way, the probability that x be less than or equal to 4 will equal to 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3. So that will be 0 0.7. And finally, the probability that the discrete random variable be less than or equal to 5, well, that will be 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3, which will equal to 1. And that's exactly what it should be in a cumulative probability distribution table. Now, to find the median, we're going to need a formula. And the formula for the median is the following. Median, which we often refer to as capital M, is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2, where x1 is the largest value of x that we can find in this table, such that the cumulative probability is still less than or equal to 0 0.5. On the other hand, x2 is the smallest value of x we can find, such that the cumulative probability is greater than or equal to 0 0.5. In other words, the cumulative probability that x be less than or equal to x1 will be less than or equal to 0 0.5, and the cumulative probability that x be less than or equal to x2 will be greater than or equal to 0 0.5. Let me just quickly write a formal definition there. Okay, now to actually find the values x1 and x2, here's how we do it. For x1, we look at the cumulative probability row, and we look for the last probability, which is still less than or equal to 0 0.5. Looking at these cumulative probabilities here, it doesn't take us long to see that that would correspond to 0 0.4. Indeed, it's still less than or equal to 0 0.5, and the next probability is greater than 0 0.5. And since that probability corresponds to an x value of 3, we have 3 is the value of x1. To find x2, we still look at the cumulative probability row, and we look for the first probability which is greater than or equal to 0 0.5. And looking at the row, it doesn't take us long to see that that corresponds to 0 0.7. Indeed, the probability before 0 0.7 is less than 0 0.5, and 0 0.7 is the first one which is greater than or equal to 0 0.5. It corresponds to an x value of 4, so 4 is the value of x2. Now that we have x1 and x2, we can go ahead and calculate the median, and we can state that the median, capital M, is equal to 3 plus 4 over 2. That's equal to 7 over 2. Finally, the median value of this discrete random variable is equal to 3.5. Now, this median value is often thought of as the middle value. 
What that really means is that there is a 50% chance that the discrete random variable be less than or equal to 3.5. And likewise, there's a 50% chance that the discrete random variable be greater than or equal to 3.5. And there we have it. So that's how we find the median of a discrete random variable. And that's it for this tutorial. I really hope it helped, and if it did, please hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel, because that really does help us. I'll see you soon.